Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Caterpillar Jun Hank at your service. So I have here uh, one of the computer of our machine, Kumacho. 220 to 207 to 290.7 This is the applica applicable machine for this uh, computer If you can see why this computer is open Based on this uh, situation that was having before it is always the fuse is going blast or damage burn or what it's always always so the machine can only just start but without the auto acceleration and the control regulator on the hydraulic pump it's also not functioning if you can see or uh, as you look as we look right now, I already open. Okay. So we are going to focus on the damage of this control. But if you look the power supply, this is the power supply. Okay. So if you look at the top, this is the section where the power supply is a uh, receiving where the power is uh, receiving from the battery okay now they have a two rectifier or diode okay this diode if you can see this is just only a protection or protector just in case the voltage is good uh, getting high or something wrong on the installation of the battery this diode will going to short as you can see the diode there this is the diode and then this is the both side pin of the diode okay this is the positive line okay this is the positive line Yeah, this is the positive line okay it is the power supply okay and then this is the exact negative line so where the diode is uh, installed they just parallel on the position of the positive and negative parallel so meaning the diode it is only protection for a higher higher voltage or wrong connection of the battery so just in case that that will be happen this diode is going to short to protect the system okay so that's what's happened i don't know how this is happened because uh, our electrician they told me that uh, they never will do mistake for the connection of the battery while they trying to start by using series connection or say a series or putting a, an additional battery to start when they started they said this happened the machine is not giving acceleration the machine is not uh, running well because of uh, overload so this is that this is the situation that was happened before I'm opening this uh, control box okay this is the machine controller for a uh, 220 as you can see 220 200 and 290 excavator so the situation <laughs> if you just look okay this is the checking time so you can see it is short this is the diode pin 
so maybe that this uh, boat diode is only one shirt positive and negative so that's a problem while the fuse is always blasting or damaged okay so we hope in this short video uh, both technician or electrician that the uh, first time to encounter that this type of problem you can try to open and then it's good for you to understand what we have inside okay check this uh, place this I'm going to cut to keep an identify which diode is shorted so testing shorted oh I made mistake I cut the diode which one is uh, good but no problem so this rectifier you can see put it near this rectifier is totally short check the multimeter short and then where the uh, rectifier I cut it is a good one yeah it's a good one so that's it we will cut it again the other one and we will keep only one protector for the whole system so that's it okay. the machine where I removed before so uh, we will do the actual testing but still the diode is in a cut or a I broke it the uh, pin or the terminal so we will do the actual testing okay I'm working right now let the machine uh, I'm going to pilot well I'm here now in the machine so I'm going to remove this cover because inside this cover where we're, kind of where we're going to pound the, this control okay so keep the bolt here and I remove this cover Okay, this controller actually is already came from our uh, other machine. The script this machine is ready when uh, our boss is uh, asking to send it to the site. So we can say uh, we can say for him that this machine is ready. So I'm going to remove all the wiring, this socket. Okay, to connect is a uh, ECM and uh, this ECM what I have done for temporary and actual testing I cut the diode as we can see see this diode is already open because only one diode is shorted this diode okay so Keep on watching. This is uh, experimental. If you can hear this sound, this machine is run, running well. Okay, I put race. The acceleration is a uh, good. Okay, race down. It is good also. As we can see, this uh, happen is all. This happened one time. The ECM and monitor both rectifier protection is uh, getting short I don't know what happened they just only reported at me and then I tried to do the topper shooting 
but the fuse is always broken you can see this fuse okay this fuse from the uh, top at the second one it is fuse for monitor and then the other one okay the other one is fuse for the controller okay the controller which the controller what i mean this one okay so once i remove this fuse so the acceleration will not functioning so you can see i'm going to remove it's already removed so we'll check the acceleration there's no function at all this white wire okay white wire one two three four five five white wire it's available here they only just make a separate at here to keep all the terminal will uh, connected but in a uh, lower side of this harness there is only one joint one wire going to the fuse box fuse uh, terminal so what i mean is this is the fuse okay 20 ampere so i will uh, put it back and then observe and then acceleration is work okay so now we will do the actual for uh, the, uh, this ECM was uh, installed before we will do the actual okay I'm going to remove This actual procedure, um, uh, uh, I will try to show for everyone. Okay, that sometimes the ECM can possibly repair if you know or uh, if you have any idea in ele electronic repairing or uh, testing of parts of electronic. Sorry. Okay. okay it's already connected so you can see the circuit is completely connected okay now we will start the actual setup we hope that the fuse will not be damaged again we hope that the control will work as normal okay there's nothing happen on the fuse so we can start and accelerate oh successful that means that diet only is a main reason why this machine is not racing and then not moving and then i will try the hydraulic function to re to keep the hydraulic pump will work or regulate okay it's working also so you can see Moving up, okay, okay, so that means successful. So the only I can do right now is just to stop and remove it again, and then I uh, will try to fire it out, uh, same diode to keep the that diode will uh, protect the controller. So once it's happened again, so only diode will uh, going to short to protect the computer. Okay, so you can see still in a uh, working, and then I will show you about the supply. We will use the bulk tester to check the power supply. So as I told before, this is a negative. So you can see no light showing so this is the positive okay so both pin of the diode is connected to the positive and then the other side is connected to the negative 
for the protection of this controller okay so that's it i hope that uh, this video could help anyone at facing this type of problem okay so bye bye i should have to stop because there is a three ic no heat sink okay maybe this uh could be uh maybe the this ic will uh getting overheat so i have to stop it because they don't have heat sink okay so maybe it will come uh, it can it can cause up more damage okay so that's it so a part of this a part of this video is also the monitor of this machine as you can see that's the back side where i remove and fix the open uh, controller so we're going at the front okay this control is also shorted as you can see this diode is also shorted the function of this diode is the same as the function of that controller okay so i already cut one of these diode even you cut the other one it's also work so now this is the actual testing so we can see we are here so i'm going to connect the wire or the socket so if anyone can see this this is the actual uh, actual testing uh, according to my knowledge and ability so as you can see the diode is still disconnected because this diode is damaged so now we will see what is the result of this actual testing just keep on watching and see this monitor so what will happen okay one second okay there is a lost connection on the fuse so you can see switch on okay meaning the monitor now it's working only the main reason of the problem is the rectifier or the diode start oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, okay this is it so the actual testing is uh, successful okay so you can see i think the uh, uh, is an air filter i think it is plug something i will see the shortcut the uh, button so i'm going to enter the service menu 